This activity is called down the line. And again, we're gonna be working on catching. All right, this time when we're catching, we're gonna use items to catch with rather than our hands. So you're gonna need a piece of paper that you're gonna crumple up into a ball. It works really well with this one because of the size. Some items that you're gonna use. Now these are gonna vary based off of what you have available in your house. But you may want to find some kind of trash can. So I've got my recycle can. All right, nice big opening. That's what the ball can go into. Well, the paper ball can go into. You can use a laundry basket. You can use a Rubbermaid tub. Um, uh, I don't know, I mean, anything that's got that open. I'm using a cone as well. Of course, I'm at school, so I can use a cone. Some of you may have a cone at home, but some of you may not. Again, use another big item in place of this cone. If, you know, you don't, or if it, you have to use the same kind of item, that's fine too. And then I'm using a bucket, or uh, some friends have the pails, you know, that you put sand in. Some of you may have those laying around the house. Again, another item that's big, a five gallon bucket might work if somebody has one in your garage. And then I'm using a small cup. You know, at home, use a, a paper cup, plastic cup, either one of those. Uh, or styrofoam, don't use glass. All right, so anything you're gonna use, try to make each item different. Oh, another thing you use is a ball cap, a hat, if you got a hat, uh, a glove. You know, if you play baseball or softball, perfect, get that as well. So anything that you have at home that can use to be, instead of just your hands to catch with, okay? And try to make each one different if you can. You don't need four of them. If you have to repeat and have it because you have two of the same thing, that's fine. So here's how you're going to play. You're gonna be given a set time and you're gonna to try to see how many times you can go through down this line with the catches during that set amount of time. So I'm gonna take my paper ball and on the, when the timer starts, I pick up the first item I'm gonna to use to catch with, toss it in the air, catch it. Now, did you see how high I toss it? I toss it kind of high. I'm not gonna do one of these, right? All right, anybody can do that. So get a little bit of height in there, not too high. You don't wanna hit your ceiling. All right, just a little bit above your head height. Go track it with your eyes. I catch it just one time, and I move to the next item. Toss, track it with my eyes, it went in. I go down to my next time, next item. Toss, catch it in there, and now I go to the next one. Now if that would have bounced out, I would have had to redo it. Anytime I miss, I have to redo it. So if I, oh, I miss, I don't get to keep moving on. I gotta get it in there, caught it inside the cup. Now that is considered once. I've done it one time. Now I gotta go down the line again. So that timer's still ticking. I'm still working on my throw and catching. Okay, toss it up, catch it. So now I'm still working on throw and catch. When time is up, there'll be a short little break in between, and then you'll start another round. You're trying to see what is the greatest number times you can go down that line per round. Have fun. All right, time to pause the video so you can get everything set up. Once you have it all set up, then you can take it off pause and get started. 